New details tonight about a 14 year old student who police say brought an unloaded handgun to school yesterday. And that situation forced Alexandria City High School's mini Howard campus into secure the building mode. And this comes as school officials are considering installing scanners that detect weapons. Our Matthew Torres is at the mini Howard campus to remind us how the community can join this conversation right now. Right, Matthew? Well, Leslie, tomorrow is the last day for school employees, students and parents to fill out an online survey, which we have a link to on WSA9.com. Alexandria City Public Schools is wanting feedback on potentially installing weapons detectors in schools. Now, this may sound familiar. That's because Osborne High School in Manassas deployed a similar technology by Evolve Technology just this week. ACPS has not revealed the company it's looking into, but again, this technology is similar. The scanners can pick up the weapons without a kid having to remove items from their bags. And just last month, the school board already approved a pilot program to bring in the technology by the end of the school year, although they have not announced which schools are participating. Officials say last year, last school year rather, there were 28 incidents involving weapons, mainly knives. Parents and school leaders seem to agree this is the right step to enhance safety. Some students are not on board. She says that we shouldn't normalize carrying guns, tasers, any th weapons, and it shouldn't be normal in our childhood. And she thinks it'll be a less risk of school shootings. I kind of don't want it. Um, it sounds scary having to go through like a metal detecting thing. Now the interim superintendent has said that these scanners she's hoping would be as seamless in the building like those detectors you see in school libraries. Now once the survey closes, the results will then be presented at next week's school board meeting. Live in Alexandria, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. A lot for parents and that school community to think about tonight and going forward. Matthew, thank you.